Gaining Vision, I'm Melanie. Thanks so much for clicking. To my returning family, the visionaries, thank you for your continuous love and support. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please feel at home. Have you had an opportunity to subscribe to the channel yet? If not, take, take a second, hit subscribe, and please don't forget to like and share. I'm so excited. We're here at the Union Building, and as we were coming down the stairs, we came across this young man, and he was clicking, and I was intrigued, and I wanted to learn more. Hi, how are you today? Hi, hi, I'm all right, and you? I'm great. Your name? My name is Kaiki Undere. Okay, so you were speaking a, a, a dialect or a language. Can you tell me a little bit about your background, please? Yeah, you see, our language, you see, the way our, our ancestors was created, our language is from different things we was doing. You see different sounds. They was here, you see, that is the, how they were start to talk this language, you see. And the people, the indigenous people was come here and they was take the language away from us. But still we, we are happy to can know what our ancestors was going through and what battles they was fighting for us. So that's why we are still standing from that time until today for our royal ancestors. Amazing, that's great. And the name of your culture, if you don't mind? Our culture is Koisa. Koisa, okay. And I heard you mention something about dancing. Can you tell us a little bit about the traditional dance? Yeah, you see that the dance, you see, the spiritual dance is the dance how our ancestors was run what they where they feed you are, was injured, the time when they was run through the thorns, the time when they was run through high mountains and fields. So, so the feet was injured, so that's why our people, they used to have a very funny and crazy dance, you see, but still we love that dance because it's our, it remember us and still we think about our ancestors when we are doing that dance, you see. And where can people go to see this dance? Is it just something you guys do amongst yourselves or do you perform? Yeah, you see, the, the, the dance, we normally we, we, we start to make a fire and the fire we make, we don't start it with any matches or a lighter. We're using two sticks, you see. To make the fire and that is for us for, for, for we so wonderful to can create in our instance it was their knowledge so we then seven times around the fire le from the left side to the right side and from that time you feel spiritual and you also hear sounds out of the fire oh my gosh that's incredible and you know keeping tradition is so important so what keeps you doing it but you and your tribe what keeps it going yeah, you see, normally, there yeah, is no people, people forgot about their life in South Africa. But for me, I don't do it for the money, I do it for the love of my ancestors and what they was going through. Because if I can think, if it wasn't for them who was going through that battle, we as Southern Africans, we was never free in this day. So I appreciate for what they was do for us. So for me, it's a privilege and an honor to can say I love my ancestors and for what they was doing for us. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. Now, also, I heard you speaking about a garden. So where do you grow your crops? Please share. Yeah, you see, we normally we don't eat food out of the out of the out of soaps, you see, because the soaps are the 3G, you see, they're using chips and anything, even using things to grow the food. Mm -hmm. That's why we decide to grow our own food, you see, and love out of the nature life. We're eating vegetables, you see, we're eating even fruits, you see, but we live, you see, if we eat meat, we're eating raw meat, you know? Okay. okay. And is there a garden around here, the Union Buildings? Yeah, yeah, our garden is just down there, you see, we're giving, we... We have time, each other every time we make, uh, give it water in the morning, you know. Yeah, so we give each other time. And, but it's lovely to look after plants. You can see how we grow, you know. Oh, that's amazing. And I love the fact that you guys are living off the land. And that's so important because you're right. The shops add preservatives and it's not natural. So that's wonderful. Now, tell me, when I'm coming down to the Union Building, what can I expect to see? When you come down, I can show you the medicine of our people. Medicine they was used to... To, to, to kill the enemies in medicine they was even used to heal each other from broken legs, oh, wow. from chest problems, when they was cough too much, different disease. Even day after day we are healing people that the doctor can't heal, like sickness of HIV, mm. TB, asthma is our work. We're coming from the, with the herbs and we come heal the people with the natural herbs out of the bush, out of the mountain. Oh my goodness. So yes, when I get down, I'm definitely going to come and get you to show me that as yeah. well, because that sounds so interesting. And I want to thank you. Is there anything else you want to share with anyone listening across the globe and anything you would like people to know about yourself or your tribe? Yeah. What I want to, I want people to know every young one out there is that it don't, it, it, it don't go from what house you come out, you see, it no matter in, in, in what life you was rise up, you can rise out of the the way you was come out, you see, for our hustlers outside people who who make a life out of buns and things, I, I want to tell them that it's not the way because there's too many things in life to can do, to can have a better life. 
So even I pray for them and those out there who don't know who is their ancestors, them and those who don't know where they are coming from, I, I ask the mighty ancestors to always look inside their ways and bless them with better days. Amazing, and thank you again for sharing. So I'm gonna head down all these stairs because there's a lot of stairs, and then once I get down, I'll start to carry on and hopefully we'll catch up with you down at the garden. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Can you just share some of your language with us, perhaps some prayer or any ask that you use in your language? Yeah, you see, when I say gang gangs go up, it means that the blessings go up. That all prayers go up and the blessings come down. When I say kaige ure, it means where you go, you must be well and you must be safe. Okay. See. And if it's going to rain or you want rain? When we, when we call upon rain, we say nani bakture, gang gangs. Okay. Well, today we don't want rain, but that's good to know yeah. when it gets a little too hot. Yeah. I want to thank you again for your time and for sharing your culture with me and with the audience. And I thank you. And when we get down, I'll see you down there for more information about your garden. Okay. Good day, everyone. Yeah, man, we are dealing with the natural medicine out of creation, the, the natural medicine out of, out, of mother, out of our mother's heart. Yeah, the, the mother nature. Yeah, different medicine we have here. Something something for, for everything that the doctor can't heal. Yeah, even many things we do that the doctor still study to do. So yeah, it's a privilege and an honor, man. And a blessing to can work out of creation because I know the royal knowledge don't come from me of one of my friends, but it come from our royal ancestors. So I thank them man, for us bring the royal knowledge. They was teach us how to protect us from the enemy. They even teach us how to heal someone man who was sick man, even to can and to can to can to can heal yourself when you are sick. Yeah and one thing that I can tell about medicine man you don't drink medicine because of you are sick but you drink medicine because if you don't want to get sick. That's why that is one of the secrets of our people. They was living for more than 200 years because of this, that our people was people who was drink medicine every day. Not just because they was feel sick but they was drink medicine before they was get sick. So it's preventative medication yes. instead of after you get sick you take it. Okay, yeah. See, like this medicine, you see, this one is they call it African potato. It's very good for people with joint problems, people with broken legs, people with swollen feet. Yeah, we usually drink it even. They call it um, like this. The scientist's name is the immune booster because it's for tired feelings. It also boosts up your immune system. Mm. Next, we have the red onion. Yeah, they, this is very good for high blood, even for sugar, even for arthritis. Even if they have a spiritual purpose, you can wash with it to protect you from evil things and from witchcrafts. Yeah, I do a lot of work. You can even plant it in your garden to protect your whole family. Let no dirty things come in your yard. Yeah, next, even we have the blood ball, Mtolon one. Yeah, this thing is even to clean your blood system for people with dirty blood, people with pimples in their faces. Yeah, even very good for HIV, you see. Then we have the spindy, yeah. Yeah, this is this is like a clay you grow next to a tree. Yeah, to, to the back of the tree. This is very good for people with big pimples in their face. We usually make it a powder, then you can put it in your face, yeah, in the day and wash your face off in the night. You will see the difference after three days. Wow. Then we have different medicine here, yeah, even to steam your body, something to wash, something for people who want to close your doors, people who are praying for your downfall. Yeah, even something to keep the, the work of the devil far away from you. Then we also have medicine to, for people who can't get babies, people who are crying years about womb problems. We have medicine to clean their wombs. Mm. Then we also have medicine for cancer. Yeah, even a lot of medicine for doctors who can't help people with heart problems. Yeah, we do a lot of works, man, works a doctor can't do. Yeah, even we like open bark. doors that are closed. Yeah, here is the box. From different trees, for different purpose. You see the box, we take from different trees, you see. Like this one is the tokolos tree. We call it the tokolos tree. Mm -hmm. You can grate that in a powder, and then you can wash your yard and your floors to keep the tokolos away, you see. Even this one is kind of good. You see, it make you sign from far, you see. When people don't acknowledge you, you see, you can wash you in this one, and people will acknowledge you, they will see you, 
even they will see your, your, your potential, you see, that other people don't see, you see. Even this one come from our place, you see, we call it for trap, you see. So all the bad energy, we put it under our feet and we for trap them, you see. In English, we put them under feet, you see. It's called under feet. Yeah, and then we have more different kind of bugs from different kind of trees, you see, for different kind of problems and for different kind of conditions, you see. Yeah. So you guys said sometimes you make it into powder. Do you also make it into like a, a tea or anything like that? Or yeah. How do you use it? Yeah, you see, the most of the tea we make it, you see, and we we make it like a tea and people can drink it, mm -hmm. you see, like different medicine, we we, we, we we grate it and make it in powders, you see, for people to cook it and they can drink it, you see, and others is for snuff, others you, you use to, 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 to wash your body and even to steam your body, what, you see, mm -hmm. yeah, even we have stones here. Stones out of the river for bad dreams, you see. Oh. Even people with nightmare problems, mm -hmm. you see. Even something when you was forgot your dream to let you see your dream again. Oh. Then we also work with the skins, you see. Yeah, some of the skins have different reasons, you see. Different purposes, you see. Like the buffalo, you see. You can use it for protection for a buffalo. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very brilliant animal in fighting in the creation. Yeah, even like springbok also. You can use, you see, to run away for your enemies, you see, for people who are in fighting. Yeah, then we have also the giraffe skin here mm -hmm. for people to see you from far. So it's a privilege for us, you know, honor to work with medicine, man, and to heal people. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not almost about money, but, but it's for us a privilege to can heal people mm -hmm. and to can do it with our knowledge from our ancestors and not knowledge from the foolish people who are using drugs, the foolish mm -hmm. government, we have nothing for our people outside. But yeah, it's always good for people to can hear more about us. Do you, um, you learned about all this from your ancestors, they pass it along, the, the, you know, from person to person, that's how you learned? Yeah, you see, this medicine, you see, normally we, we as, we as Khoisan people, we rise with, with medicine, you see, and our people are people of medicine. But what I can say, to work with medicine is, is an ancestral blessing. It's not something you can choose, but it's something the ancestors put on your road. Okay, so you so meant what, to... What we have over here, yes. some of the natural herbs, the medicine, the okay. marijuana that we smoke in yes. order for sinus or people who've got the... No. So here we have some marijuana. I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay. Sometimes we smoke it, sometimes we cook it, sometimes we use it to in different... We extract the oil out of the marijuana, mm -hmm. then we can use certain oh, oils, right. we make certain products with it. So this is what we use in order to heal when we have sinus, people who've got asthma, mm -hmm. people who've got chest problems and throat problems, they can use this. So we okay. use it like this. Get the smell? Mm -hmm. It's not as smelly as some uh, yes. marijuana. This yes. is the one that helps for it's health. The one though. because of its natural. Yes, the natural. Yes, so it okay. doesn't have that serious smell. You can, it's, mm -hmm. it's even nice for people when you smell it. Even when you smoke it in public, mm -hmm. people won't even smell that yeah. you are smoking marijuana. But mm -hmm. it's a very nice smell that we yes. have. So yeah, we use that for this. So, so these herbs are you're growing here? No, we don't grow them here. No. These herbs are all from different provinces in South Africa. Oh, okay. We get them from Western Cape, some of them from Eastern Cape, some from Northern Cape. Others, they don't grow around here, so and most of them you go and get in the mountains uh, from afar. Not and around, that's why yeah. the herbalists travel a lot. Yes, that's why they travel a lot, because the herb that they get is not from one place. They get to have to gather it from different places mm -hmm. in order to, to hear from different places. Yeah. Okay. So this, this is what you call in Pepo. This is a very good herb. So you smell it. Mm. Busman Kweikhut. They call it hot nuts Kweikhut in our place, but it's okay, it's, yeah, oops, it's oops, burning, yes. oh, <laughs> Sorry. it's an incense that they burn, it's also to oh, take away, to take away evil spirits, and to oh, take okay. away, so, so you, you burn the here. incense, and it yes, takes away the herbal, incense, yeah. but okay. it's a very nice smell, it's a smice now, food. it if is, if have it over here, it's just that the wind is blowing, it's yeah, way, but, but you will be able to smell it, mm -hmm. it's a very That's nice smell, even at night when you can't sleep at night, and when you have problems to fall asleep, you smell, you burn that one and then it can even help you to fall peacefully asleep. It's very nice okay. even to fall asleep at night, yeah.
Wow. So yeah, these are all the herbs that we actually I work with. I am so. so educated. This is the, I knew nothing of this before, so thank you guys so yeah, much. No, and this is important for us all to educate ourselves on topics like this because, at least for me, when I travel somewhere, I want to know about the culture. I want to understand, yeah. and not just the sensational things. Sure. You know, of course, the history of South Africa is beautiful and also bitter at the same time, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it's good to understand, but the natural stuff, this type of culture, yeah, thank you. These things they will never even tell you about when you research no. for them because like I said, it's not classified as medicine yet in South African government or mm -hmm. South African medicine books. Yeah. It's not classified as medicine yet, but the reason for that is because the government knows that when you use this, it can be used for healing. Right. So they want you to go to pharmacies, we'll they want the you medication. to do all those things so you can be dependent of them because yes. they have something that will make you addicted. Yes. When you use natural medicines, it can only be used for healing. Okay. So once you are healed, you won't even need to use it anymore. And that makes so much sense. Yeah, so. so now, what do you have certain roles? I know you guys are herbalists. And what is your role in the in the, your community here? Our role? Do you have a, like yes, a, a... I'm the head man to the, the king. The king and the queen, okay, yes. From the okay. head man to the king, so, they are all well, our herbalists. A, okay, because of wonderful. The, they learn from the ancestors, Sisters, or yes. our, our forefathers, how to do traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. Because even the Sangomas, which you, they might find in other traditions, they learn from us how to do traditional medicines. Okay, and... All the knowledge that they have, they got from our people. So in the, the community is 10, you said. So each person has a, a part they play? Yes, all of them has yes. a certain part. They play all of them a certain day, uh, task they have to perform mm -hmm. for a certain days and everything okay. and like that. So, so yeah. it's just like a community working collaboratively yes, together. Yes, yes, oh, it's yes, beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. One big family. Yes, one big and that's family. It's so important, isn't it? Whether it's family. blood family or real, a, yeah. a community. It's, it's my brother from another nation, yes, my brother that, from another yeah. country, mm -hmm. from like that. Yeah, so yes, we are all family, one big family. One like big family. when we took a photo, we say one, one nation. nation. I love that. Because we are all one nation. Yes. Yeah, so well, I, thank you guys so much for your time. I know that you are busy, busy with everything. You have jobs hours. to do. But yeah. I want to thank you all so much for taking the time. And to my audience, please do your research. Learn about this. Come down and meet these gentlemen. Yes. It is such a pleasure. And I'm sure there's ladies as well around. Yes, <laughs> the queen. Yes, and yes, the so queen please come and meet this family. Please do come. Please do I, come. When you visit South Africa, please make it a turn to, that, to a point that you come to the union buildings and come to visit the Khoisan people. So there's a lot you can actually learn from yes, us. Yes, because this has been a highlight of my trip. Thank yeah. you guys so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Well, guys, my visit to the Union Building has come to an end. Not only was I able to see the building, the monument of Nelson Mandela, but also meet my friends. I learned so much, and I encourage you guys, if you're in South Africa, in Pretoria, to come to the Union Buildings. This is where the government meets. So it's a very important place. And again, check it out, learn about it online, and do your research. Till next time, please don't forget to hit that notification button, like and share, and we'll see you later. Bye.